If you've been gaming as long as I have, then you remember the beginning, the good old days. The Atari 2600, the ColecoVision, the NES, the Master System, the SNES, the TurboGrafx-16. I could literally go on and on and on about the glory days. But what I remember most is the passion that the developers had for creating games that we could immerse ourselves in. Games without roadmaps, games without 10 year plans or patches, games that weren't riddled with broken promises. The days of standing in Marsh Supermarket, reading Electronic Gaming Monthly, knowing the games and reviews that you were reading about were unbiased and they would be finished products when they finally landed in our hands. Fast forward to now. We do get roadmaps. We do get 10 year plans. Because of the internet, we get unfinished games. Because developers know we'll put it out now, we'll patch it up later. And us as gamers have no choice if we want to play games than to buy these games. Some of us are better than others about not buying these games. We get games with horrible attention to detail. We get sequels where the first game that was released five, six, ten years prior has better attention to detail than a game released in modern times. And this is where the point of this video is going to hit. All I hear about are $70 video game price complaints. Or how folks don't like the story path of The Last of Us Part 2. And for the most part, I get it. Personally, I don't mind paying $70 for a good quality product. And I like the story on Last of Us 2. Is it the greatest? No. But when I finish this remake of Part 1, I'm definitely going to replay 2 again and kind of go about it with a different point of view. But what my point is, is this. We must appreciate Naughty Dog for their passion, the time, the care, the effort, the respect they have for us as gamers to release quality products, products that don't need patched, and products that don't have so many bugs like the most recent Saints Row. Products that we can just get into our hands and immediately immerse ourselves in the game. We must appreciate this. Because we got to be honest with ourselves, guys. Gaming is on a decline. There aren't a lot of developers out there anymore that care about our experience, that appreciate the money that we spend on their product. And this is why it is so support so important to support the developers that do care. I wasn't going to buy the remake. I had literally just beat the remaster again for the second time a while back. But after seeing all the screenshots on Twitter, the little videos, the clips, I thought to myself, if anything, you have to support Naughty Dog. Support their respect. Support their attention to detail. Support the passion that they put into making games, whether we like their story arcs or not. We have to support it. We have to appreciate it. We have to appreciate the fact that we still have a developer out there that cares about us as core gamers. Because again, there aren't many left. That's all I have for you guys. Chime off in the comment section as always. Let me know what you think about Naughty Dog, about gaming in general, about the direction. Where is gaming heading? Because I don't feel like it's heading in a good place. When you have, you know, in my personal opinion, five, maybe six developers that actually care about us as gamers and the product that they give us, that's a problem for me. Let me know what you think, guys. And as always, keep it gaming.